Francisco fixed us up some fresh Marriott coffee. Hopefully it'll taste better than some of the other coffee we've had recently that I could barely even get through. Finally gonna try the famous bunny chow. So we're here picking up our bunny chow, but I'm not sure how much Francisco's gonna be having because... I had a pretty bad reaction to our malaria medicine. We started taking the malaria pills today. Yeah, which you're supposed to take on an empty stomach. And so we had them this morning, and I had that, and like half a cup of coffee. And probably, what, like 20 minutes? Probably within like 10 minutes, I began feeling pretty nauseous. And I, I was hoping it would just be nausea. But it got worse and worse and worse in about 20 to 30 minutes into our drive. I ended up puking a couple times. Uh, and still feel, still feel nauseous now, like an hour and a half later. That was not fun. I think I'm gonna try and, for tomorrow's dose, wait till tomorrow evening and take it with food. Because um, I don't think I can, I can handle it on empty stomach. Okay, so Francisco is wiping up his puke spot. Are we being hounded by the parking guy? I don't know, maybe. Um, so I'm gonna unwrap my bunny chow. So bunny chow is supposed to be, do you want his pan because we're gonna leave? Yeah. Or? Oh my gosh, it's such a mess. <laughs> I do not know how I'm gonna eat this. Why don't they put this in a container? Wow. Here, I still got some clean napkins. This is not gonna be possible to eat. I'm sorry, you can't see any of this. It is, um, Okay, so bunny chow is like a bread bowl. I don't know why they serve it like this. Like, there's just paper in it now. Don't we have it in that? I thought we had... Yeah. What? No, I'm just saying, I don't know why they serve it wrapped in paper. Like, now there's paper, like, sticking to it that you can't even eat. But, okay, so anyway, so it's like a bread bowl, and then it's filled with curry. And then I got it filled with uh, sugar and broad beans. Sorry. So, I have a fork from a previous meal. I'm gonna dig into and this. that's a quarter one? Yeah, that's a lot, right? Yeah. It's a very red curry. What's your hair? That's why I see it. Very spicy. That's pretty good. I just really don't know how I'm gonna eat this though. I don't know we're gonna drive and eat this at any rate. Can't even break it, babe. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna eat this in the car. This is not to-go food. And here's the carrot salad it came with. Right, this is an incredibly messy meal. I don't know how we're gonna eat this takeaway. I'm gonna try this carrot salad. It's decently spicy. I've eaten maybe a third of the bunny chow. It's spicy, but not like too spicy. It's pretty spicy, but <clears throat> I'm also like really sensitive to spice. I'm still able to eat it. There's a lot of bread, which you would need to keep the curry contained. Oh my gosh, but it's so messy. Good thing I put this on my lap, or that would now be in my pants. We've somehow managed to eat the bunny chow in the car without making a terrible, awful mess. Yeah. Francisco just ended up picking up the bottom of the bread and finishing it that way, so his hands are a bit dyed orange at this point. But, uh, so for dessert, I got some Melba pudding, which I thought might be good to balance out the spicy. I think it's just like a sponge cake or something, and then you pour this over it. been that super bumpy road. Yeah. Okay, but here we are at the Protea Hotel Umfalozi River. We're checking in early today. And it is feeling hot already. Yeah, it is. I think we finally hit our first hot Africa day. We've been, I've been chilly like every other day. So I'll give you the full tour of the room when we return later. We were just doing an early check-in because now we're going to go see some hippos, but the outside grounds are really cute. There's these little koi ponds. I don't see any signs for a pool though. Really? This hot and there's no pool? 
That's surprising. Thought there'd be a pool here. Oh well. They're birds that make those like nests that are hanging on the branches. So I made a mistake and wasn't paying any close attention to our gas as I as I should have been. And so we ended up losing about 15 minutes, 20 minutes while we're driving around trying to find gas. Uh, so we almost weren't able to go to the park we went to go to tonight uh, because we were low on gas when we thankfully found a a, uh, a gas station that wasn't too far away which saved us from, from missing the whole, the whole thing. Well, after that trying adventure, we tried to go to this Kalului Imofulzi park, but it closes at six, so they stopped letting people in the park at three. So now I'm just out here checking out these bird's nests up close. This one has some eggs in it, because we've driven a long way to just be turned away at the gate. Okay, we're returning to our Omofolsi um, Protea. I think, can we get through this way? Let's look at the swimming pool first. We're on a mission to check out the swimming pool. But it's all large property, so it's turned into quite a little walk here. Okay, there's another set of stairs here. And it appears that there's one more flight of stairs here. 
and we're almost to the pool. I found the pool. Wanna test the water temperature? See if it's worth returning to? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> the lights aren't turning on. Now we're gonna have to walk all the way back to the front. Oh, power section. Oh, okay. Is there power to call though? This is our view. That's cute. Sorry. This is the view from the deck. It's actually super cute. If we get room service, we could eat out here. Unless we have to move rooms since the power is not working right now. Francisco's drying off the shirt that he puked all over this morning. What'd they say? Can we just get an upgraded room that has Wi-Fi? That'd be great. Thanks. I got distracted because we lost power and didn't finish my room tour. So Francisco is on the phone trying to get his room service, but nobody's answering, so I don't know what we're gonna do yet. So he's in the little desk area. Out there is the deck, which I did show you. And then there's two twin beds here. And then there's this other desk area. Here, TV up there, and then shelving. And then here's where you walk into the room. Uh, so right next to the bed is the shower sink area. And then the toilet room is when you first walk in. And this is, I think, the third bathroom that we've encountered that doesn't have a full door. Getting real tired of that. What can we order? Yes, so it, it, okay, so it's, it's in the room service menu, but you don't have it. Okay, um, you have the normal fries. When you say potato chips, do you mean like potato wedges or like crisps? What was that? Fried chips. Are there like, I was, I was gonna ask him to describe the shape of them. <laughs> what they're shaped like. Are they, are they only crunchy? <laughs> Is there potato bits in them? <laughs> Francisco just got off the phone with the room service and we tried to order onion rings that's on the room service menu, but they apparently don't have any. Um, so we were, just, we were he was checking to see if they had french fries, but then we were like, what's the word for french fries here? And like I was saying crisps, but it's chips. And then, oh, it's, he was trying to ask. I think I asked like, they're crunchy. <laughs> I don't know what I asked anymore. It was a ridiculous conversation. I hope I don't end up with potato chips. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried you might. Oh man, I'll be so upset. I haven't eaten anything since bunny chow. I'm, I'm starving now. It's gonna be more than half an hour? 45 minutes? I guess that's fine. Why don't we just go out? You got the time to shower now. So our room service is derived. We did end up with french fries. Here's some ketchup and vinegar. Then here's our vegetarian penne pasta. And then we got the seasonal fruit slices. But apparently there was some mistake because we also got this side of ice cream that we didn't order and they tried to charge us for. But I don't know, Francisco tried to get that sorted out. Africa is just overwhelming sometimes. Okay, it's the safety clinic. We're back home. Yeah.